Hello and welcome to the December Digital Edition of Frontier. Inside this issue, we interview two family-run brands operating in global travel retail that have come together in a brand new joint venture. German company Valdemar Ben and Italian firm Polini have united in order to create a strategic alliance of family-owned alcohol brands. Ultimately, the alliance has been conceived to allow both companies to answer the challenges of the modern travel retail landscape by setting up a well-balanced, diverse portfolio that preserves the individuality of each partner's star brands and harmonizes their strengths and weaknesses, while facilitating the high service level of a family-owned company on a global scale. Meanwhile, our regular Industry Innovators column examines how the power of digital has made GTR shoppers more accessible than ever before, with brands and retailers able to get in touch with travellers before they arrive in store and avail themselves of the wealth of essential data on offer. To make the most of this, the industry must focus on engaging with travellers with the aim of turning passive passengers into active shoppers. Our insight feature for December takes loyalty schemes as its theme. Originally intended to retain custom for airlines, these programs have evolved rapidly to become coalition loyalty models, enabling the participation of other allied businesses. Nowadays, they've become an essential prerequisite for retailers who have invested in the digital experience in order to create a personalized benefit for their clients. The first of our two special reports this month covers the recent FDFA conference held in Montreal. Here we discover that the Canadian duty-free industry places considerable emphasis on the importance of the personal touch because border stores, which are extremely prevalent throughout the country, are often run by second or third generation family members, meaning they have more flexibility when it comes to trialing new brands. In our second special report, we take stock of the inroads being made by the food and beverage sector within GTR, with celebrity chefs getting involved and brands cashing in on airlines, asking travellers to pay for in-flight meals, big names and bespoke eating experiences are becoming the norm at airports and railway stations worldwide. Lastly, we review the top stories of the year, from how social media is shaping the beauty category and the development of alternative payment methods, to the We To Duty Free campaign taking hold in Northern France in the wake of Brexit, and an in-depth analysis of the fortunes of the market in Latin America. And that's about it for this issue. It just remains for me to wish all of our readers a very happy festive season and all the best for a prosperous new year. See you again in 2018.